How's it going YouTube? So we just made it to the Hyatt Hotel. My boy Danny. We're actually meeting with a subscriber of mine. We're gonna do some fishing, white fishing on Bay Box on the Bay. Uh, don't know how it's gonna go yet. Don't know what we're doing, but I'm here to show him around. You guys want a fishing with subscriber video, so here it is. He came out from Chicago, he's a super cool dude. On Instagram, I talked to him and yeah. Anyway, I'll do more talking once we get to the room. We're gonna eat first. Stay tuned. We're in boys. Whoa, we can't really see anything, but whoa. All right, uh, yeah, let me just set this here and then we can just. <laughs> hey, here we go. Let's My boy Daddy, bro, we, we made, made it. it. We made it. Uh, settle down, get all the electronics. We gotta charge stuff, rig up, and we're gonna talk to, we call him Lime. Well, I call him Lime because Jason told me that his name is Lime, but but he is the subscriber I'll be fishing with, and we're here at the Hyatt Hotel. I'm really excited. Hopefully, I can put in some white fish, and yeah, let's go, bro. This is what it looks like. This is what we'll be staying for the next five days. <laughs> no, just wait. Two nights. Yes, <laughs> I had to think. But I'm going to show you guys real quick what it looks like. Hopefully, it's not too wobbly. I'm going to do my best. These are the stone beds that are super comfortable. Uh, the stone pillows. Look, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, so it's really nice here. High quality stuff. We got a nice flat screen TV. Man, I'm excited, bro. There's so much room here. Here's the bathroom, right? Let's walk in here real quick. Check out this lighting. Holy smoke, that's bright. Wow. We'll talk about the rig up, the bite, all the exciting things that you guys want to know about white fishing. Yeah. We got a lot to do, so hold on. Now that we're going to settle down in the hotel room, I can talk to you guys what we're going to be doing tomorrow, right? Tomorrow morning. So I'm going to open up my box here and yeah, just hold on. All right, so a lot of you guys have been questioning about like what setup do I use? I use a custom rod built by Bass Kane. I'll leave the link down below. I mean, you guys can see that, but it says perch on there. It's matte black with this gold like accent and everything. It's it's just my whitefish rod, right? It's 32, medium light, has enough backbone, decent tip, you know, not too soft. I don't like that really soft tip for whitefish, only because whitefish have a lot of weight to it. And what I mean by that is when I set the hook on them, I really want to drive this gold tungsten jig head into the lip. Right, this four millimeter, I believe. Yeah, I just like that stiffer tip. Uh, just a perfect amount of backbone. That way I can, when I, as you guys see in my video, when I set the hook, I can really drive it in and control their weight because they shake their head a lot. Sometimes they run off on you and they dart. And this rod right here will control all that for you. Like it'll do the job. You don't have to worry about it. Just make sure your line is good. Yes. This reel here is just a Shimano Sedona. Let's see if it focus. Focus. So this is the Sedona 500. I use all 500, size 500 reels for my ice reels here. In this case, I'm using three pound test mono suffix ice magic. That's like my go-to. It's affordable, it's reliable, it's durable. It's just my line, right? Everybody has their preference. Everybody like braid, floral, whatever. This is just me. I like it because it's under three bucks and it does the job, right? Yeah, sorry I sound kind of tired. I mean, we had a long day. We just got here. We had to clean up, set up everything just for the next few days. So, yeah. Next, here's my second rod. Well, my second rod, actually, my go-to second rod is this walleye rod built by Bass King again. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, right? It's pretty, it's not going to focus because of the lighting. I have a heavier jig. I want to say it almost looks like a six. Could be a five, though. I could, I could be lying. So, but I use this heavier one. When I know that, like right now, I know they're feeding on goby, right? Because I've been catching them, I've been gutting them, and I find big gobies, like one to three and a half inch gobies in a whitefish stomach. Like, believe it or not, if you guys follow my Instagram, I post pictures of that all the time, and people are like, what? I didn't believe in myself until I got them, and I was like, what the heck is this? Giant gobies, yes. But with this rod here, it's definitely a lot stiffer. It has more power. Um, again, I like the stiffer back if that make any sense like it it's not too stiff where you can't sense something right you can still sense the pull and the tug but you know that that bend right there is really powerful i can really drive it in there in deeper water like that perch rod is good but with deeper water i want a stiffer rod uh just enough tip right just enough tip for me to just see it move down just like that and i'll set the hook i'll keep them pinned from deeper water like 20 feet of water 
but definitely like if it's 10 or shallower that perch rod is like my go-to sometimes i'll get away with 15 you know it's not that big of a deal but for me i just it's just easier on the wrist it's easier on the hook set and it's just more uh control and i just feel more confident fishing a stiffer longer i want to say this is a 30 almost 40 maybe i think this is a 40 yeah no i want to say maybe 36 it's a 36 inch rod and i just feel more comfortable and more confident in a longer rod in deeper water more leverage to really set that hook on here i have the shimano sahara yes let me see if i could like turn it to you guys right there shimano sahara this is the 500 on here i have a four pound test mono suffix ice magic again nothing expensive nothing that you can't afford they're all under 300 bucks within the 100 yard okay there's that 300 yard too for like four dollars or five dollars something like that but you guys know I buy all my stuff like a flea farm farm fleet every time i can find a deal i get it yes we're gonna hang out in the shallow area for like maybe two three four hours so we can raise some if not then we're gonna go deep so stay tuned don't go anywhere if you guys are new to this channel hit that subscribe button leave some comments down below hit that thumbs up you guys know the drill so stick around i'm excited you guys should be too it's really windy out here my boy danny hold on let me catch my breath because something exciting just happened here he is the myth and the legend not even 15 minutes in what up let's hey, do this boy line from chicago he just stuck a nice one show him to the camera bro yeah man my pleasure that is awesome look at that that's a big end from chicago right second of the trip yeah second one on the trip so hopefully we can stick some more for sure yeah we're fishing like seven feet of water Woo, i was running around sorry guys but yeah let's take around let's see if we can some fish together it's gonna be fun you got him i got you bro Oh, he's gonna break it right there, right there. Get him, he broke the line. He's a little guy. Let's go, bro. We'll take him. Good we'll take him. Oh, you got one. Hey, I got you, I got you, I got you. Careful, yeah, I got you. Dude, you're freaking on him, dude. That's a big one, look at that. Cool. I got you, I got you, I got you. Slow down, yeah. I got you. Don't get tired, don't get tired. I'll scoop him right out. Oh my god, this, they're very slimy, dude. There you go. <laughs> Kill it, bro. Yeah, boy. Another one. Good stuff, dude. You're gonna be done very soon, man. Oh, <laughs> Get I got you. Take your time. Real, real, real. I got you, brother. Nice, dude. On the spoon, let's go. Good stuff, bro. No smash, huh? Yeah, it was. Ball, man. Out of yeah. nowhere, dude. Yep, out of nowhere. Here we yeah. go. First blood. Oh, Rip them up. First blood. Good job, dude. Yeah, I told you, they don't show them stuff at all. They show up and they grab and they're gone. Hi, right, guys. Got on the go. I wasn't recording, but me and boy Dow just stuck one. Danny, I got it. Yep. I right, guess you won't laugh. <laughs> yeah, watch. You can see. Do you have a rod? You can bring your rod. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Right here, not here. I'll watch you. This one. All right. All right. We're trying to draw something in, right? Yeah. Um, nice. I hook myself. So I think if you drop it all the way down, I think you'll see it. Is that the bottom there? Yeah. Let's see. There you oh, go. Oh, I got a fish. No way. What the heck? Yeah, I got no, a fish, dude. No <laughs> you recording? This. <laughs> dude, I wasn't even. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, what? I just got one. No way! <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped insane. it down there, dude. I was like, bro, I got a fish on. That's I... <laughs> stupid. That's so crazy. <laughs> I thought I snaked. I thought I snaked the no. bottom. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> the bait to drop down, and then yeah. it didn't get there. No, but... I, I have no idea, dude. I just dropped it down there, and he just picked it up. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, waxies. Well, Hold on, I got one. I got one. You got one. You got one? Yo, D! I got you! I got you! Got him. Finally! 
Give me a light bush. On the drop shot, baby. Yeah. On the drop shot. That was cool. Two feet of water. I set the hook too late on him. Yeah, slow though. Huh? He's slow. He's faster here in the shallow. Yeah, you got a little nice batch going on here. Yeah. Oh, I'm just chilling now. It didn't even feel like a white fish. It was dragging line. That's that's how they are, dude. That's how they really are. 